Hey, what's up, guy? If you are looking for family boat, elegant, fun, and affordable, the Sierra SPX 230 outboard may be the solution. Let's check it out. Good day everybody, my name is uh, Hans Rudans. I'm a general manager for Sea Ray International and today we are here on the SPX uh, 230 outboard. So we have a 230 outboard with a 250 Verado Mercury Marine. We're standing here at the back of the boat. Um, so there's enough place to pass going from left to right. It's pretty practical. Ski pole and then here a very nice and large sun lounge at the back. So I'm kind of 1 meter 76, so uh, it's, uh, it's a decent, decent size. This can be taken off to pass. So another nice feature here at the back is the, is the backrest, which can be easily put up. And this is a nice place to enjoy people that are in the water swimming uh, or doing water sports. So if we want to go inside the boat, we can detach the sun cushion and we can easily open this one up so this gives us good passage through through the boat This is a 23 footer, but it has a lot of space to put stuff away. Main switch with some space to put dry stuff. So as this is an outboard version, what is really spectacular on this boat is the massive amount of storage that you get where in a stern drive version the uh, engine would be. So this is really, really big. Uh, you can use it for a big cool box, you can use it to stow stuff away, all the covers can go in there. It's, a, it's really a fantastic, uh, fantastic feature of this, uh, of this boat. <laughs> Moving forward, so as, I've, as I just said, so many, places, uh, so many uh, places to put stuff away. This one has uh, the possibility to charge the battery, so you can uh, put it in the, in the marina and your batteries remain charged. This boat has two batteries, a uh, house battery and an engine battery. Again, more storage room. And also here underneath this seat, more storage room. We have in the cockpit cup holders all over the place. One, two, three, four, five cup holders for the people sitting here in the cockpit. And of course, one more at the driver at the driver's seat. This model is uh, has as an option uh, the movable seat. So what we can do is we can put this one here. You have a very nice place to sit as a co-driver, or if you put it the other way, it's a nice lounge to uh, to join the the other friends or the family. Brings us to the cockpit. First to finish maybe this, it is very convenient that we can move this seat. We can turn it around and you can join the party or the conversation or the lunch if that is served on this rectangle teak table, um, which is large enough to, uh, to be comfortable for five, six people to put some food and some drinks on. Last latch here, so a uh, ski locker, so this is a good, uh, good place to stow a wakeboard or uh, water skis. Another great feature on this 23 foot boat is we have a head, so a separate head, door that opens this way, it, with a toilet, uh, this one is a toilet with a pump out but you can also have a, a normal removable one and if not used uh, very easy to put fenders or other or other stuff
Okay. So this boat uh, has a special option which is called the X package and uh, the X package has a special, couple of special features. First of all the red stitching that you see here. We always do that in the grey upholstery, so the red stitching. The luxury steering wheel, it's a steering wheel that is uh, movable, so you can put it at your convenience. And it's uh, the steering wheel that we use from the SLX uh, version, so it's more luxury than the standard one. Dashboard, an integrated Simrad panel. The Fusion sound system, this also to the package is uh, the Premier sound system which gives you an extra amplifier and a big woofer here to uh, so that gives you all what you need, all the decibels you need to have a, a great party uh, on the water. For the rest, standard equipment of course, navigation lights, courtesy lights and also accent lights that will light the boat up in a red color in this case because it's the X package so it matches nicely with the red stitching. The Simrad is uh, connected of course with um, the, um, the Mercury uh, computer on the, on the engine. So all the Mercury data, all the engine data you can uh, display here on this, uh, on this screen. Oh, I first need to confirm it. On this screen, it's very easy to use, very convenient touch screen. It has charts, it has a plotter, it has uh, your instruments or it has the engine data. Another option on this boat is the, uh, what we call the active trim. So this active trim, uh, will that's one in one time set uh, on the engine and it will allow you, so you don't have to trim anymore, it will always uh, put the engine in the, uh, in the correct angle to reach uh, most efficiency from fuel speed and the people you have on board. Brings us to the front of the boat. So a very nice and large boat, bow. Again, another hatch, uh, two cup holders here. We have two speakers and we have the possibility to close this completely, so nice with a cushion. Here goes two cushions and you have a very nice closed bow where you can enjoy the day with, uh, with two or three people. So we also have an anchor winch on this boat <coughs> with a place to stow the anchor. Uh, it, dra it is drained so it's very easy, it, it will drain away the water uh, when the rope or the chain is, uh, is wet. Alright, so this boat has the maximum power, it has a 250 horsepower Verado, the new V8 engines. Uh, brings this boat to a top speed of about uh, 60 miles uh, per hour. It's largely enough uh, if you are with uh, seven to eight people on board, this has enough power to, uh, to bring you quickly in plane and to comfortably cruise at around uh, 35 knots uh, or 35 miles an hour.